macOS is full of shortcuts, but our laziness of remembering them makes us use the toolbars a lot. It's totally fine, but why not customize them to fit exactly what we need there? Most Mac apps, especially the Apple made apps, use the toolbar at the top with various buttons. So let's start straight away by looking at Safari. Here is the toolbar at the top and you can see all these different buttons there. You can customize what appears here and in what order it appears. To get to the customization settings, right click empty space in the toolbar. You can also use control click or tap with two fingers on the trackpad. And you will always find this option in the view menu as well if you want to go there. Now we can see that the items are kind of moving from side to side. This shows that they are editable. You can just take one icon and move it around. But down here it shows you all of other different buttons that you can actually add on top. So to add some extra functionality to the toolbar, drag any other icon there. For example here in Safari, let's add the bookmark button right next to forward and backward buttons. Let's add a home button as well. And maybe zoom over here to the other side next to the share button. Now when I click done, this is what my toolbar looks like. But don't be afraid to play with it. It's really easy to restore things to the default if you don't like your changes. Because down here you have a default set. It's one big draggable thing. So you drag this up into the toolbar and it resets everything to the default. Almost every Mac app has a toolbar that you can customize. So let's move on to the finder. You can customize it the same way, but there are some more extra features here. Again, right click the toolbar and rearrange the icons as you want. I can for example add a new folder button here, or maybe I can get rid of the tag button if I don't use it. You delete it by dragging it down and release it. Note that in some toolbars, like here in the finder, you also have the option to show or hide the names. Here you can choose icons only, icon and text, or just text. You can get to this option also when you right click the toolbar. And it's very handy if you are new to a Mac to learn what these icons mean by leaving the description on. The extra feature here in finder is that you can actually add up here files, folders and even applications. If you work on some specific file very often, it's probably better to just put it in the dock so you will have quick access for it there. But it's good to know that you can do exactly the same thing here in the toolbar. So take any file or folder you want, hold command key down on your keyboard and drag it up. And it creates a shortcut to that file. But what I find a lot more useful is to add some special applications here. So you can drop files into the icon here to open it. Let's go to applications folder and add pages here. Now I can take any file and drag it here to open it. You might say, why don't you drag it to the dock, it works the same. But it's just one second too long. Every second you can save by learning new features and optimizing your workflow, increase your overall productivity. So if you follow Apple Online Academy channel, I'll make sure to show you all the tips and tricks around your Mac. But now, let's go back to toolbars and let me show you a few other apps. There are some major changes to how the Mail app toolbar looks like on Big Sur. And there are actually two different toolbars. Let me show you. A lot of people like to have some buttons on the left over here, above the list of messages. And you can totally do that using the Customize Toolbar option. So again, right click the empty space in the toolbar or go into the view menu. Now not only that I can add a lot of things, Mail has a specially large number of buttons that you can add. But I can also move things over to the left. Maybe this group of buttons here that's archive, delete and junk, it can all be moved to the left side to make it less busy on the right one. But this isn't the only place that you can edit the toolbar in Mail. Because Mail has two very different windows. There is this viewing window here, but there is also Mail composition window. 
that's different and it has its own different toolbar at the top. So I can customize this toolbar as well. There are many other apps on the Mac, like Pages. Pages window looks differently than Mail or Finder or Safari, but you can customize this toolbar just the same way. And there are so many different buttons to add here. The same goes with Numbers or Keynote. So whatever Mac apps you are using, take a look at the customization controls for the toolbar and see what buttons you can add. And maybe you'll be able to rearrange things to better fit your needs. Anyway, here is Luke and I will see you in the next video.